Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well and I hope your Sukkot preparations are going well as well. May we all uh, rejoice in the celebration and the mitzvahs of Sukkot uh, and have a wonderful holiday with family and friends. This Erev Shabbos and Erev Sukkot video of our Torah is sponsored by Jan Glassman and Joel Sowalski in memory of Jan's mother, Amelia Edlis Glassman, Milka Bat Aharon Svi Zechrona Levracha, whose yard site was observed on the first of Tishrei. And also in memory of Jan's mother, Marvin Lee Glassman, Yosef ben Mordechai Halevi, Zichrona Lebracha, whose yard site will be observed on the 19th of Tishrei. May their neshamas have an aliyah, may their memories be a blessing. And we thank Jan and Joel for the sponsorship. Thank you very much. Uh, on Sukkot, one of the major themes of Sukkot uh, is to remember and really to thank Hashem for the kindness that he bestowed upon us when we were traveling in the wilderness. Specifically, the Torah says that it is in order for all generations to know and to remember that I, Hashem, I provided and had the Jews dwell in Sukkot, in Sukkot, soon after I took them out of Egypt. And the Gemara quotes a machlokas between Rabbi Akiva and Rabbi Elazar, two of the great sages of the Mishnah, what this Pasuk means. One maintains that it means Sukkos Mamash, actual huts that we are provided with the material uh, and the living space of a, of a Sukkah. And the other maintains that Sukkos here means coverings, it does not mean a physical hut, it means the coverings of the Anani HaKavod, the miraculous clouds of glory that protected the Jewish people and led them on their way traveling in the wilderness. Now, if the holidays to remember the miraculous clouds, that certainly uh, is something to remember. It was a miracle. Uh, but if uh, the holidays to remember the huts, uh, if you think about it, it's a little bit uh, perplexing, a little bit surprising that Hashem provided us uh, with huts. He didn't provide us with permanent homes. He didn't provide us with um, uh, luxuries. He provided us with, with huts. And he provided us with so much more. He provided us with, with the miraculous clouds. He provided us uh, with the mun that fell from Shemaim. He provided us with the miraculous source of water that traveled with us. Why? When we have a whole holiday forever for all generations to remember and thank Hashem that he gave us huts, there's so many greater things uh, to thank him for. And so to understand uh, why it would be important to remember that that he gave us huts, I'd like to um, bring to your attention an insightful and powerful comment of the Nitziv, Rav Naftali Tzvi Yehuda Berlin, the Rashiva of the Velazhin or Yeshiva, the Velazhin and Yeshiva in the 19th century. There's a Pasuk in Hazinu that many quote and connect to Sukkot. The Pasuk says, Yimsa'ehu be'eretz midbar, God found us in the wilderness, in the land of the wilderness, Ubatohu, Yilel Yeshimon, and in a land of, uh, of chaos, of desolation, a howling wilderness. Yesovavenu Yevonanehu, he surrounded us. Yevonanehu, he built us. Yitzrenu ki shoneinu, and he protected us like the pupil of his eye. Many connect this phrase that he surrounded us with the Sukkos. And then a siv on that specific word, that phrase comments. HaKadosh Baruch Hu asa lahem Sukkos l'chol echad b'fnei Hashem provided huts, a hut, a home for each person, for each family, individually. V'hu davar gadol v'nifla. And that is a great and wondrous thing. What was so special about the huts is not the material, it's not how much it cost, it's not even the physical protection, but it's that each individual and each family had their place, had a home, had privacy, had a sense of protection of my own space, my own dignity. They were no, more, no longer slaves who were just uh, thrown to live, uh, you know, a whole bunch in a barracks where, where a person did not have uh, individual personal dignity, where a person uh, was not respected. Hashem said, every Jew, every Jewish family will have their home, will have their space. And in some ways, that is why the huts uh, is a greater miracle or a greater chesed than the miraculous clouds of glory. The miraculous clouds of glory protected uh, the entire nation and encircled the nation. It was a miracle for the nation. But the huts were a way that Hashem provided something for each person, each family, to say that I care about you, that I want you to have your space. And it gave each 
each person, each family, a sense of home and everything that came with that. One lesson we learned from this is that uh, when a person performs an act of chesed, of kindness, of loving kindness, it's not so much often how much we spend or the tangible item or service that he's being provided, but it is what does it convey? What does it provide for the person uh, internally, emotionally? Does it give them, does it convey to them a sense of love and care and identification? Does it build them and their own dignity and self-worth? It's not about the stuff. It's about the message that it conveys. And so on Sukkot, according to the opinion that maintains that we are celebrating and remembering and thanking Hashem for Sukkot Mamash, for the huts, for some pieces of wood, what we are saying is we are remembering and thanking Hashem for the small chest that he did for us. It wasn't the miraculous man that fell from Shemaim. It wasn't the miraculous well that provided water. It wasn't the miraculous clouds. What really touched each person individually, what made, what made them feel love was that each person, each family had a home. Uh, we should walk in the ways of Hashem. We should emulate the ways of Hashem. Uh, and try to find uh, the small things, the things that uh, do not necessarily cost so much money, where uh, the tangible item perhaps is not special, but through small actions, through small acts of giving, uh, to express our kindness, our love towards others, and to build them like Hashem built us, uh, to show that they are special to us, like the people of our eye, as Hashem expressed to us with these huts, that is what we are celebrating on Sukkot and the lesson that we can learn from it for our own lives. Good Shabbos, everyone. Good Yantiv and Chag Sameach.